what's up it's me again so welcome back to my channel yes I am here with a brand new video for you and I can't actually wait to see how this video is going to turn out so this video is going to be a lot less depressing and less like sad for my recent video my Cinderella video uh, for those of you who have seen it and stuff thank you so much for the comments I have gotten over my social media on Twitter that video did take a lot out of me and it was very personal and honestly I'm happy it's out there because it's a part of me and for those of you who have seen it, thank you very much. If you haven't seen it, it's a two part series. Uh, each video is roughly around 17 minutes long. It is really long but I am very personal and deep with you so please check out that video if you haven't already. So, I am really, really excited for this video. So. I follow this YouTuber named Glam and Gore, aka Mikey. She's cute, she's funny, she's adorable, she's sexy, she's hot, just everything. So <laughs> I love her to death. And I follow her on all social medias. If you don't know who she is, just go look her up. She is a special effects and beauty guru person. She's just amazing. Anyway, a couple weeks back, I don't know when, but I feel like a couple weeks back, she uploaded this video of where she just used special effects makeup to do a glam look and I watched it it was hilarious and it was amazing and so when I was watching it I got me thinking like I could probably do that the only issue is I am not a big special effects person like she is she has all these like professional high quality stuff I mean I do have some stuff but I don't have a lot but there is something I have a lot of and if you've been on my channel since the beginning you know that I do a lot of face paint tutorials. So if you already seen already on the title of this video, I am going to do a glam look only using face paint products. So no makeup at all, no special effects, only face paint product. That being said, I have brought in my awesome face painting kit. Uh, it is pretty big. There's actually one more layer to this. It's like over there so yes this is my awesome face painting kit I have all my face painting stuff and it's amazing I love it so so I'm basically gonna unpack this thing and lay out all the materials and we'll get started from there so <laughs> events like birthday parties and any events out here where I live. I actually do have an Instagram and Facebook account to my, I guess you could say, face painting business, so I'll put the links down below if you're interested. The only problem is if you're not around my area, I can't do your face paint, so I apologize. But going back, I'm only using face paint and brushes, sponges, water that I only use when I go to do face painting. So. Oh my god, I didn't realize how much stuff I had until I took like everything out. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I don't okay, so I guess we should get started. I honestly do not know uh what look I'm going for. I'm sure it's gonna be colorful and very interesting at the same time. Uh okay. Okay, so I guess the first thing is primer. <laughs> uh face painting, there's not really a primer product. Uh, the only thing I can think of is baby wipes. I only use baby wipes when I make a mistake or taking face paint off. Um, so I'm going to prime my face with a baby wipe to get all the dirt and oil off my face. So. Alright, uh, I'm waiting for it to completely dry. Now I guess is foundation. <laughs> okay, so foundation is going to be a bit challenging because if you look at my skin, I'm naturally tan. I'm a Hispanic. So <laughs> this is going to be 
interesting. So this is my face painting kit that I have. And if you notice, there's no brown. So I have to take my brown out. So I think what I might do is um, mix a bit of this brown and white. And maybe a bit of the orange where I can get a tan color. So um, this is going to be interesting. I, I, this is going to be interesting. So. <laughs> With it being in the white, it'll become lighter. Um, I don't want to be take. I, this is going to be super dark on me, so don't take this offensive. I'm not doing a black face. I'm just really trying to get my skin tone. Just using face paint, and it's super challenging. So I'm really hoping, like I said, the white is going to lighten it out. So let's just do my foundation. So I'm using my high dent sponge that I usually use uh, for blending, like an ombre effect on face paint. So hopefully. With some luck, this will match my skin tone. So, here I go. Okay, so it's not that dark, but still pretty dark to my skin tone. So, I can work with this. I can work with this. Oh, God. Okay, now it's dark. Okay. Obviously, it's not my skin tone, so I'm gonna try to make some little bit of brown into my orange, and hopefully get a tan and some white included. So. face painting design. have like a Valentine's one and then I have this, this cool, um, I don't know what they really call this. This one's called Unicorn. This is called Unicorn. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is called Unicorn. And yeah, so I don't know which one to use. I feel like the rainbow might be too powerful, so I'm just going to skip that. Uh, okay, I do like this one, the rose one. The only issue is it has pink and reds and I'm not a big fan of pink. 
never was a big fan of pink, so I'm going to skip that. So my tough choices are between the unicorn one and then this blue one, which is called Dolphin. So, I think I'm going to use the unicorn one, just because I like the color combinations, and I have done this before on kits before, so it looks pretty cool. So, these are really fun to use. All you really need is a sponge or a paintbrush. I like to use sponges. And you need to just squirt it with some water. Not too much. And then make sure your sponge a little wet. And then you just kind of drag it to get all the colors. And boom, got it. So this is going to be my eyeshadow. So I'm going to do like this unicorn ombre effect. So. Eyeshadow done. Uh, next step I usually do is eyeliner, so hopefully I can save this mumble jumbo with eyeliner. So, so basically, so I'm going to grab my lovely type of skinny brush. I'm going to grab my little brush. This is, I'm going to grab my little brush and dip it into my black face paint and use it as eyeliner. around Halloween season. These are face painting sticks. Um, I've had these God knows for how long, honestly. So here's my black one. <laughs> oh my God, this is old. Um, they hurt. They're not really well. Face painting, they're cheap way if you don't have a professional like I'm using. <laughs> but um, they still work in a way. So I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. I'm just peeling off some of the paper before I can get to the black. There we go. So here it is. I'm going to warm it up. Yep, that is, that would, yep. There you go. <laughs> so, you know, okay, so I'm gonna try doing my waterline, so wish me luck. Oh, yeah, God, it looks so bad. 
Okay, so, uh, here's my face. <laughs> okay, contour. So my face is pretty much brown as it is. So I'm gonna go in with my other sponge, which is a little bit more brown, just do a bit of contour, and hopefully it will blend out. So here I go. <laughs> Okay, uh, I honestly think that's the best that's how I'm gonna do because this is not really blending well because these paints dry really fast. So, okay, I look like someone just threw dirt on me. <laughs> Alright, um, now the highlight, I guess, um, of the contouring. So, I guess I'm gonna use just white. <laughs> multi-chrome and just beautiful to look at like Jeffree Star's and the Keith Tutorial's highlights so figured I can use a uh, silver face paint like metallic face paint and then on top of it really quickly just put some glitter on it to have a, that nice shine look to it I think I put too much glitter. Is that a thing? <laughs> okay. Alright, I think our last final step is lips. And with this crazy eyeshadow, or tag, uh, cake, I think I'm just going to do a blue lips and just put some blue glitter on it. Yeah. <laughs> session one. So, <laughs> I look ridiculous. Like, look at this. Like, just the contouring, the highlighting, the eyes, the, the skin tone. Oh my god, the skin tone's like really killing me. I think I've, I could have gone so much lighter, but you know what? Hey, at this point, it's just like here already. So, uh, there's glitter in my mouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> alright, uh, Here's the final look! <laughs> done on this channel probably for a, a while so just like this whole thing just trying to do like a glam look just using face paint I mean I mean it could have it could have gone worse it really could have gone worse but those eyes those eyes those eyes well it's crazy anyways uh, anyways I hope you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel down below and check out my other videos if you haven't seen them already uh, all my social media links are down below Facebook Twitter and um, Instagram and I will be posting another video very very soon because it is summer and I have more time if you want to I would recommend tweeting this video or sharing this video with other big beauty gurus out there like James Charles Jeffree Star Mikey Nikki tutorials and stuff and tell them hey you should probably do a glam look just using face paint mm, I'm sure they'll do a way better job let's be honest they will uh, anyways I love you guys and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video so Till next time! You know what? Of the wise words of Nikki tutorials, you can save everything. 
with glitter. So let's go glitter notch, shall we? Oh my god. I don't know. I think it made it worse. 